hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks first things first welcome to all my new subbies welcome to any old subbies that i have shout out to y'all y'all the real ones and shout out to any of you who haven't subscribed yet but will subscribe by the end of this video so welcome y'all as y'all read by the title we are doing my long 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 awaited drugstore straight natural hair routine so y'all let's get right on into it because y'all know i do not like wet hair and all right y'all so i have already cleansed my hair for cleansing i suggest that you strip your hair when you go to straighten your hair um just to get any oils and such off of your scalp so that your hair will be nice and blowy in the wind that is a trick that i learned and it has been one of the greatest ones that i've learned when straightening my hair and then i went in with the main choice peach black tea um infusion hair mask i have a review and i'm gonna link it up above one of my favorite hair masks and i think that it's gonna work out really well when i'm straightening my hair it has just enough moisture just enough protein so hopefully my hair is sleek so y'all that is where i'm at now so my hair is wet and i'm gonna go in with the shea moisture sugar cane extract and meadow foam seed silicone free miracle styler leave-in treatment with marshmallow root girl i'm sick of these long names this is what it looks like i've used this before it um has a lot of claims it says it detangles nourishes softens um cuts drying time adds shine smooths and reduces frizz enhances silkiness and protects against thermal and environmental damage so this is what i usually use when i go to straighten my hair i blow out my hair i also have the mask not a fan of the mask but so um i've used quite a bit of this product and this is going to be my leave-in um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to apply this the same way I apply any other leave-in. If y'all are not new here, I'm going to split my section in half, apply some. I'm going to try not to be as heavy-handed because I don't want my hair to be weighed down at all. Like I said, I like for my hair to blow in the wind. So for the rest of this video, it's going to be a voiceover. Y'all know it takes forever to blow dry your hair, straighten your hair. So I'm going to do a voiceover just explaining what I do for my straight hair routine. And yeah, you guys... I love you guys and I will see you guys next time okay you guys so i'm just showing you guys the consistency of this leave-in i can't stand the bottle that it comes in but basically i am just applying this to my hand and then i apply it in my hair i put it in my hand just to make sure i wasn't using too much and um you guys like i said i have my hair split into four quadrants and then i have each quadrant split into half so from here i'm not using any combs or brushes i detangle very thoroughly in the shower when i deep conditioned so from here i'm going to put my hair into braids so each subsection will be one braid and i braid it up basically just so that my hair can air dry a bit so i don't want to go right in with heat on my super damp wet hair so i braid it up so that it can air dry a little bit i put a t-shirt t-shirt on so that it can soak up any excess water and you know just make sure that my hair gets as dry as possible before i go in with the blow dryer and it helps so that i'm not blow drying forever y'all know if y'all blow dry on wet hair it can take a really long time so this method works a lot better for me so at the end of this process i will have eight braids in my hair so this is the first braid and i just can't believe how long my hair is getting y'all definitely hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on because the kinky crew fam is growing long and healthy here okay So you don't have to braid all the way down i'm just extra and don't want my hair to you know go crazy so here in this next clip i'm showing you guys that i'm three braids in and i'm just going to do the same thing on the other side here i am with my t-shirt towel on and i am taking this off and y'all i'm dancing it takes me forever to do my hair because i'm dancing and singing all the time so here is the plaits that i did and I basically just took one plait out and I'm going to unravel it so that I can go ahead and blow dry this section. So I do blow dry in eight sections, but it doesn't take long because I let it air dry in that t-shirt. That's a life hack, y'all. So this looks so good. It makes me want to do an eight braid braid out. However, I am going in with this Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protectant. Love it. One of my favorites. Use it every time I put heat on my hair. And of course, I'm going in and spraying it, distributing it so that my hair is protected. And I'm not going in with a brush or anything because I am going in with my other fave, which is my um, Revlon blow dry brush. I love 
this thing i will use it on high heat y'all know that i have thick and um long hair so putting it on high just makes it so much easier for me and of course you start from your ends like you would any other thing and i just make sure to really get my hair good and it's so easy to blow dry with this brush because it is a brush and it's kind of flexible so i can get my roots i can get my ends and everything will be nice and straight and precise so i didn't speed up this clip or anything just wanted to show you guys how long it took me to actually blow dry my hair and this is in real time so i am going to go ahead and i'll do this on each section and we'll come back when my hair is nice and blown out can we talk about the length can we talk about the length we love to see it okay make sure you like this video you guys here is my hair all blown out and I sped this clip up because I'm basically just looking at myself the whole time in disbelief of how long my hair is. I'm going to give you guys a quick length check back here and we're going to jump right into straightening. Here is straight hair to Mia, y'all. Look at that length and the body. Can we talk? So I go in with small sections. In this section here that I had clicked up, clipped up, I split into two and each half is going to have three to four pieces that I straighten. I like to take small sections just to make sure that I'm getting each piece as straight as possible. I hate when I don't get my hair straight enough. Here you see I'm going in with the Chi Iron Guard heat protectant. I do double heat protectant specifically when I straighten my hair because I just want my hair to be protected. I'm using a lot of heat and I want to make sure that everything is well protected and that when I wash my hair, my curls are going to come back with a vengeance, okay? So here you see me taking a little piece and that is going to be the piece that I straighten my hair with. So I go in and detangle my hair with my brush just one last time just to make sure there's no knots. And then I grab my Chi flat iron. Love her. She's the best. And as you guys can see, I have it on 390. Sometimes I do have it on 410, but today I didn't really feel like I needed a full 410 because the blow dryer um, process went so good so i make sure to get my roots very well and then i go ahead and i grab my comb my rat tail comb and i do the chase method the chase method for me is just very helpful like i said i have very thin and if i don't do the chase method then my hair has the tendency to be kind of stiff so with the chase method i just um follow it <laughs> so my comb is in front of my flat iron and it just separates my hair so that each piece is getting as straight as possible which is the end goal here so i'm just going to keep following this process until i am done And you guys, please make sure to take your time. This was a two-day process for me. I left um, those braids in for quite a while. And at the end of that time, I just didn't feel like, you know, <laughs> straight to my hair, y'all. It took me like three hours to do this. I actually came out here in the living room so that I could show you guys. Hopefully, you guys, you can see this a little bit better. So that is why I'm not in my usual filming space. I wanted you guys to see all the detail. And I am by no means a professional. So here I am just showing you guys the other side. Let me know how you guys think I did or like if you have any other tips for me to use. Don't forget to use your heat protectant. That is so important. And like I said, I'm literally just following the same steps that I just told you guys. Y'all, this end, I wasn't sure what was going on with her, but she was just so over it. And I know I am not the only person who feels so accomplished when you get to that last piece of hair. Girl, it is a feeling like no other, okay?
all right y'all so here i am finished with my hair and i don't know if it's just me but i like my hair after it's been wrapped up for a couple hours but here's what my hair is looking like and you guys see me in awe of how long my hair is i don't like just straight in so i bumped them a little bit i know that's not for everybody but i like the way it looks so that's what i did And you guys can see me here just playing around with my hair per usual. It's not often that I see myself with straight hair, so I am loving every minute of it. So definitely make sure that you go ahead and get the perimeter of your hair. We want that to be just as straight as everything else. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Let me know if you have any tips and talk to me down below. See you guys next time. Bye.